Hey, Tony, do you believe that this is the most consistent in terms of preparation you've had during this postseason, kind of knowing when you're going to throw and being kind of built up where you want to be? Uh, I mean, yeah, absolutely. Uh, they told me after the game two opener thing that I was um, going to start game six. So I've known for a little bit and, uh, you know, I've had a lot of time to prepare and it feels like I've, I'm back on like a normal routine like I had all season. Right. A lot of time to prepare and a lot of time to process the fact that you're going to get the ball and what could be a World Series clinching game. What goes through your mind when you think about that? Um, try not to put more pressure on myself than there already is. Um, you know, I try to go out there and throw the ball the best of my ability and, uh, you know, nothing changes tomorrow. Dave said that he views you as a starter. You are not an opener for game six. Knowing that, how um, much more pressure does it put on you, obviously, to try to go as deep into the game as possible? Uh, I think it more it provides a little bit more comfort for me. You know, I'm going to go out there and I'm going to throw the ball as long as I can, uh, as best as I can for or until Doc decides that um, that I'm done. OK, thank you. Next question is from Dave Vassay. Go ahead. Hey, Tony, Dave said that you, he had a conversation with you after he let you know you're starting game six. So what was your takeaway from that conversation that you'll take into your preparation tomorrow? Um, you know, just to attack guys, you know, do go out there with um, the intent from game one to, or from, sorry, from pitch number one to compete until, you know, whether for as long as I can, um, you know, from pitch one for as long as I go. What did you see from your guy, Dustin May, last night? What was the biggest difference for him to be back on track? Uh, he looked good yesterday. Sinker was working, mixing some four seams. Um, Below was there again. You know, he wasn't 97, 98. He was 100 this time. So, I mean, that's really small when you're up throwing that hard. But, uh, you know, he looked really good. He looked sharp. Wasn't really playing around with guys. Just went right at him and attacked him. Was that a different mentality for him, or what? Do you believe it was just strictly he was pitching well? Do you think there was something more than just pitching mechanics to that? Um, not necessarily. I think he was just attacking guys better. Next question is from Jorge Castillo. Go ahead, Tony. When you look at uh, your outing last time, what, what do you feel like you need to improve the most from from that last outing? Um. Last time it was okay. You know, I didn't know how short it was going to be. I knew it was going to be shorter, but um, you know, just going out there and attacking guys, getting strike one, getting ahead, staying ahead. Uh, you know, early contact would be great. Uh, early soft contact, actually, not just regular early contact. But um, you know, overall, just kind of attack guys. Did you learn anything from that uh, first start you had, and just pitching in the postseason, like a, an actual start, and the adrenaline and all that stuff? I mean, yeah, absolutely. You know, every every outing I've had this postseason has been a learning opportunity for me. You know, it's all new. Uh, it's on a much higher stage than the last time I was in a, a postseason. Um, so, yeah, just kind of controlling the emotions and, uh, you know, still competing. Um, I couldn't help but notice that you ditched the neck gator last time you were out there. Was that a – why did you decide to go without it? I just switched something up, see if it'll work. Are you going to uh, keep that or not have it next time or tomorrow? I don't know. I haven't decided yet. Thank you. Next question is from Bill Plunkett. Go ahead. Yeah, Tony, when you say uh, you were told after game two that you were pitching game six, what does that do? What What is your routine? When did you throw a bullpen? How do you uh, go through scouting reports? How do you prepare when you know you have five days? Um, it was I didn't find out until after the game, so I had prepared to – um, between game seven of last series to game two, didn't really have time to get like a lift in. So I uh, took my lift on that day, the day that I threw the opener day. And then after that, after the game, they told me, so it's like, all right, now like my routine, my routine has changed a little bit, but uh, with the extra day, it worked out nicely, you know, took the next day off and then got my, my two lifts in my bullpen on would have been game four, I believe. Yeah, game four, and then you know, ready to go for tomorrow. You uh, you say the phrase "opener thing" with uh, kind of a little little bit of an attitude. How how difficult is it for a guy who's been groomed as a starter to make that adjustment? Uh, no, it's kind of not that it was in a bad way. It's more of like 
I knew I was starting that day. I just didn't know how long I was going. So it's kind of turned into an opener role. And if we had gone back and, and told you in July when you were going through some difficulties uh, that you'd be pitching possibly the last game of the World Series, uh, how, how crazy would you have thought that was? Uh, I would have been excited for sure. You know, I would have um, thought that all my hard work and, and um, you know, want for progression to. <laughs> okay. Next question is from Tim Brown. Go ahead. Hey, Tony, after a, uh, a month, you are going to be released from the bubble in a few days. Uh, what is the thing you're most looking forward to doing? Uh, I haven't really got that far, honestly. You know, um, you know, priority number one is get my work in today. And then priority number two is go out there tomorrow and throw the baseball. You haven't thought like one, like I need, I want to go get this burger or I want to go sit in the shade somewhere. Nothing like that. Uh, not yet. Honestly, you know, priority number one is taking on that championship. Okay, man. Go get him. Next question is from JP Hornster. Go ahead. Tony, would it be fair to say that from July until the end of September, you were more or less on an every sixth day schedule, whether it was in the majors or at the alternate site? Uh, yeah, pretty much. And, and when you go from that to whatever it was that you were or were not able to do, these first three weeks of October, how do you think that translated to what you were able to do or, or not do in the games that you pitched? Uh, you know, I've always just tried to be prepared for whenever I get the ball. So it doesn't really matter if it's six day rotation or whatever, it's just finding that routine in between outings. You don't think though that the sort of irregular lifting that you referred to or, or the between starts throws caused any trouble for you? Uh, not necessarily, no. Okay, thank you. I got time for one more. Go ahead, Skylar Dixon. Uh, Tony, have you noticed any difference with the limited crowd in terms of noise, atmosphere, et cetera, between the LCS and the World Series? Um, there's definitely more Dodgers fans here now for this series than there were in the LCS, that's for sure. But uh, overall, it's just, you know, it's a little bit louder. Um, the exciting moments are a little bit more exciting and uh, you know it's just a fun atmosphere did you think did you think much about before you got a chance to play in front of fans what that might be like what the south and sides what sights and sounds would be like and how that compares how the reality compares to what you expected i mean we have fans last year you know it's just kind of the same thing it's just a little bit quieter appreciate it Last one's from Ken Davidoff. Go ahead. Tony, uh, you said they, they told you after game two you'd be starting. Were you curious at all these last few days whether, you know, they would go to Walker on three days just because of his, his experience? I'm sorry, what was the question? Uh, just were you curious at all whether they would uh, go to Walker tomorrow just because he's, he's more experienced than you are? Not at all. Okay. Thanks, Tony. Were you making fun of your buddy there doing his interviews, Dustin? Uh, yeah, we had a little chuckle at the end. Yeah. <laughs> Yesterday, Clayton Kershaw said Dave told him prior to that sixth inning there was a plan that he was going to face two batters and take him out. What about for you? Was there any sort of conversation that he had with you about who you were going to face? Uh, not before the game, no, but I went into the sixth inning knowing that I was going to get Marco. Uh, after he got the two quick outs, I was like, eh, I don't know if I'm going to get him. And then uh, they stuck to the plan and uh, – I went up. There wasn't a necessary pitch count. Dave had just said two batters. So when he did come to you and say, all right, you're going in for Margot was what was the level of surprise for you? Uh, well, I mean, I had known for about six batters that I was going to get Margot. So uh, I wasn't very surprised. Um, I was more so excited to just get in and get my opportunity. Again. You mentioned the excitement. What has this experience of pitching in this postseason also in a World Series done for you? Uh, it's just opened up my eyes to the the amount of focus that guys put into the postseason and the amount of, like, skill that everybody has. I mean, they come out and they give out their best opportunities every night, and they match up very well against us. So it's been a very exciting series so far. Thank you. Next question is from Jorge Castillo. Go ahead. Uh, Dustin, what's today like knowing that tomorrow night you guys might win the World Series? Any nerves, excitement? How's, how's that going today? 
No, I'm just trying to keep a level head. I mean, being able to win a World Series is very huge, but um, the job's not finished yet. So we got to get there, and we got to we got to win them. We got to win tomorrow. So we got to wait till tomorrow to get out there and go do it. Any plans in the bubble today? Uh, no, not for me. Just kind of relax and get my work in here at the field, and then get a good night's sleep. Thank you. Next question from Tim Brown. Go ahead. Dustin, when you get out of the bubble after a month, what's the one thing you're most looking forward to doing? Uh, well, I just bought a house, so I'm going to have to furnish it. So uh, that's what I've been kind of thinking about the whole time. So uh, that's that's about it. Where's that? Uh, it's here in Texas. Great. Enjoy it. Next question from Claudia Agesto. Go ahead. Hey, Dustin, I know you guys don't want to think about a game seven at all, but how anxious are you guys to be done with the series after living in this bowl this season? I mean, I don't think we're anxious to be leaving. I mean, we're, we're just excited to be here to have the opportunity to play in the World series and be able to chance, be able to have a chance to go home with some hardware. I mean, we're, we're super excited for it. Next question from Bill Plunkett. Go ahead. Dave said that uh, he had a little talk with you yesterday before the game, and he thought the biggest difference when you got to the mound was you weren't as amped up and you weren't uh, overthrowing. What uh, what kind of ad adjustments did you make? What did that conversation feel like? Oh, uh, well, I just had to make some mechanical cues in my delivery to uh, kind of smoothen it out and get back to the norms. So, I mean, last night I definitely felt more more normal and more composed I would say um, throwing ball can you look back at those other outings and kind of recognize that you were uh, a little too excited uh, I mean not not really I mean it I don't necessarily wouldn't say I was too excited I mean my my delivery was out of whack so it was kind of throwing kind of everything off so I just wasn't executing pitches thanks Dustin Next question from Tyler Kepner. Go ahead. Yeah, Dustin. Um, if they need you in Game Six, um, you know, on one day rest, how how crisp, you know, do you feel your stuff would be? Because it was electric last night. No, I mean, I like I said earlier in one of the interviews, I, I bounced back pretty quick, so um, I should be ready. And uh, who is that on your on your shirt? Is it a Brooklyn Dodger guy? It looks like. Uh, I honestly have no idea. I just oh. like to very comfortable, so that's why I wear it. Okay, thanks. Next questions from Brooke Smith. Go ahead. Hey, Dustin. Going off of uh, Bill's question a little bit, uh, last night, I don't remember what the exact count was, but it was almost 20 of your pitches, I think, reached tw uh, triple digits. Is that more of a mechanical adjustment that you're talking about, or is that a little bit just being amped up by the situation? No, I mean, I definitely think it was mechanical. Uh, just being able to sink down to my legs a little more and not and not just kind of fall towards home plate, kind of drive, uh, definitely allowed me to have more strength going forward. So uh, last night was very well. Got a question from Daniel Lombroso. Go ahead. Hey, Dustin, how important are the Mexican pitchers for the team, Julio and Victor? And how's your what's your relationship with them? No, they're great. I'm, they're great teammates. I mean, I, I've gotten really close with Julio this year, and uh, especially since we were in Arizona together during quarantine. I mean, we, we were around each other almost every day, so we got to talk a lot. And uh, just being here in the, the postseason together, around each other every day, they're both they're both phenomenal guys and great. got another question from Bill Plunkier. Go ahead. Nope, forgot to put my hand down. We got one question from John Radigan. Go ahead. Yeah, uh, Dustin, wondering about just pitching in, in the backyard of where you grew up. And, and uh, how many people you have had that have been able to come and watch you pitch, uh, you know, during this, during these couple of series? Yeah, I've had a, I've, I've had a lot of friends and family being able to come out. Um, 
my mom and dad have been in every single game. So that's been really nice to have them here and supporting and being able to come and come and watch. So uh, it's been really fun for them and looking forward to the next few games. I know in some ways it doesn't feel like, you know, you didn't go to games in this place, but you are in Arlington. You're, you know, in the backyard of, of where you grew up. Is that, um, is that surreal? How does that feel to you to be pitching on such a big stage here? No, it's something that I dreamed about as a kid being, being here in Arlington, throwing, throwing in big games. I mean, I grew up a Rangers fan, so being able to, to be in the, the new stadium is, is pretty cool. Awesome. Thank you. Next question is from Dave Vassay. Go ahead. Hey, Dustin, as close as you and Tony are, how much do you guys talk to each other the night before, you know, one of these type of games? Do you feel like he'll bounce some things off of you? Will you be kind of a good ear for him uh, on the eve of maybe his biggest start? Uh, I mean, it really just depends on the day. I mean, some days we talk a lot about baseball and some days we don't talk anything about baseball. I mean, it, it's not really anything set in stone with the way that we conversate before a start or whatnot. I mean, we've been throwing pretty much back and forth as starters for three years now. So um, just he's going to go out and he's going to do his thing. He's going to dominate. Thank you. I have another question from Jorge. Go ahead. Uh, Dustin, how much better of a pitcher do you believe you are um, now compared to that opening day start? And in which way, in what ways do you feel like you're better? Uh, I've just I feel like I've become more of a pitcher, uh, being able to mix uh, my off speed stuff in there more, and being able to land it is has been huge, uh, especially when I was a starter towards the end of the year. Um, I feel like using that going forward is going to, to help me out a lot. Thank you. Next question from Skyler. Go ahead. Dustin, you experienced a little bit of postseason last year in a packed stadium. How noticeable is the difference, if at all, with the limited crowd? And, and how much of a difference, if at all, was there between the LCS and the World Series in this setting? I mean, just kind of touching on what Tony said, I mean, there's definitely more Dodgers fans here. So whenever whenever the things happen for us, they definitely are cheering a little louder. So uh, it's nice to have our, our fans behind our backs. I got time for one more. Go ahead, Ron. Hey, Dustin, you've had to pitch in obviously some big games to this run. But to, to get the call in, in that spot um, last night when a game that you guys needed, obviously, to win and, and hold a lead, I mean, what did that – show you what did that mean to you that they wanted you in that spot i mean it just shows me that they have a lot of confidence and trust in me to go out and get the job done and uh being able to go out and execute pitches and and close the door behind kirsch um it's pretty phenomenal feeling so excited for the next one thanks